What is up guys? This is Thomas A. Messon and today I'm going to show you how to chroma key a green screen in Do Adobe Premiere CS6 and CS5. I'm not sure if this will work for the other Adobe Premieres, but you can try it. So as you can see there is the green screen behind me and in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 the green screen has changed and you're probably wondering how did you do that? Well it's called a chroma key and you can do this for many websites for Adobe After Effects um, and then the one today I'm using is Adobe Premiere CS6. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So if you think it looks good, please give this video a thumbs up and comment that uh, you know it looks good. So if it looks good to you, then this is a great video for you because I'm going to show you exactly how I did this. So stay tuned. What is up guys? This is Thomas A. Messon and the video you just saw is the video I'm going to edit right now. So let's get to it. So I'm going to show you how to chroma key on Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. This also works with CS5 and probably all the other uh, Adobe Premieres. So what we're going to do is open a new project and I like to keep it on HDV and we're just going to name this chroma key and we're just going to press OK and I'm going to go to AVC HD and make it into the highest setting which is the 1080p um, i 30 frames per second or 60 um, and we're just going to press OK so once you do that it's going to load um, like I said I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 so right there is about good Okay, so now we just um, trimmed it, and so now here is your footage, and it, this is really easy to chroma key. Uh, it's probably the, one of the easy softwares to chroma key. If I can do it, you can do it. So what we're going to do is go to Effects and type in Garage. Uh, all you have to do is G-A-R, and you can see the four-point garage mat, and you just want to double-click that, or you could just drag it onto your video and you want to actually hit the four garage and you just want to um, get rid of all the background so I'm just going to get rid of all that and since I have a tripod uh, it's not moving so it should stay um, like this the whole time okay so as you can see it's all black and we want to fix that uh, we want to get a background so any background will work I'm actually gonna get a hotel room so it's on, saved to my desktop uh, this is just a Google image hotel and I'm going to open that and you have to put it on video one so we're going to go back to project and just drag that onto video one and just uh, lengthen it out so it matches the entire video so as you can see here I am and I'm just going to fix this a little bit because as you can see there's a lot of space above my head so what we're going to do is click on the video and go to motion and I'm just going to position myself to make it perfect uh, that seems about good now I'm going to scale it um, when we played out uh, works perfectly so now to the chroma key the most important part of this video so what we're going to type is go to effects then we're going to go to ultra key um, so we're just going to drag it into the video you have to drag it into the video not the picture um, so once I drag it into the video let's scroll down and we see ultra key so there's many different ways to do this and everyone's green screen is different so my settings aren't going to be the same as your settings because maybe mine's a different shade green or whatever so what we're gonna do is click this and we're gonna get the darkest part so here's my shadow and as you can see it's almost fully gone a matter of fact it's pretty much gone uh, it's just it's that easy no I'm just kidding we can make it look a little bit better so I'm gonna go to composite alpha channel and as you can see there's all this shadow now um, if you have any black dots in the white that's bad you want to make it fully white and you want to make this black background fully black uh, but you want to make it the lowest setting 
Uh, I'll show you right now what I mean. So we're going to go to matte generation, and we're going to keep the transparency where you can bring up the. If you hold down Control and scroll over, it goes by smally, um, as you can see. And if you bring it up, you can actually see myself. So we're just going to bring it down. And that does completely nothing. So everything's different. Uh, the shadow, we can bring that down a little bit. If I bring it down all the way, um, as you can see, there's those black dots. So the shadow, you, want, you don't want to keep down too low, um, just a little bit. Uh, if you bring it up, it makes the shadows more. Uh, shadows isn't really something you want to mess with, so I'm just going to keep it at 49. Um, the tolerance, if you bring that all the way up, um, for sometimes it doesn't really do anything. Uh, so we're just going to hit Control Z to make that go back to 50. Now, pedestal is what you want. Uh, so let's drag that up. And as you can see, um, it is taking away that black shade. And we're just going to uh, put it on the lowest setting, but make the background completely black. So I'm going to hold down Control, and I'm going to wait until it is completely black. Uh, so right there is about right uh, at 77, but your settings may be a little bit different. Um, so we're going to go to matte cleanup now this is actually really cool so as you can see the choke if I bring it all the way up I actually get thinner um, and I want to show you the reason why uh, so we're just going to go back to composite and as you can see it's looking really good there's no shadow no anything now we're just going to make it just look better make it look more real so let's just say you have a green outline all around your body and obviously you don't want that so this is where the choke and soften come in to play so if I turn it all up to 100 as you can see it really just thins out my whole body as you can see my hair gets skinnier my shoulders get skinnier and that's really if you have that green halo around your body um, so we're just gonna put that to 10 and we're gonna get soften up to 10, um, 10. Uh, if you guys are wondering, I'm using Camtasia Studio. Okay, so after that, we're just going to go to spill suppression. You can, you know, change this a little bit, but I'm looking pretty good right now, so I'm not gonna change that. Now we gotta go to color correction. If you're a little bit dark, if you don't have the best lighting you can turn up the lighting and as you can see if I turn up all the way I get super pale um, turn it down I get black so we're just going to get that to 110 um, now for the saturation let's just say you're pale and you want to look a little bit tanner if you bring that up uh, as you can see my tan really comes out uh, I, I usually keep this about 16 and that is pretty much it um, everyone's different, everyone's green screen's different, but you just want to change those sh settings that I just showed you um, until you make it perfect. Um, if you're not seeing a huge improvement, then what you can do is, as you can see, this says custom. You can make that too relaxed um, and then change it from there. Or aggressive, uh, aggressive totally takes it out too. Um, so I'm just going to go all the way back to my custom because that was the best setting. So if you're having problems, you can just change this to aggressive, relax, whatever is best for you. So here is the video. And as you can see, there is no green. Um, there is basically nothing wrong with it. So that is pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like this video and subscribe. Hopefully it helped you. And if I did, like I said, give this video a like. Uh, I appreciate it a lot. And subscribe. Okay, see ya.